Hey everyone, today we've got some breaking news from the tech world, from AMD's performance records and Intel's issue updates to Nvidia's fastest GPU. Stay tuned for all the hottest tech updates right here on Edge Runners. First up, let's talk about Asus and their new ROG motherboards featuring the X870E chipset. According to WCCF Tech, a user named Rios on the Hardware Lux forum uncovered some exclusive functions for Ryzen 9000 processors that won't be available on 600 series motherboards. Rios examined the firmware of the Asus ROG Strix X870E eGaming Wi-Fi motherboard and found some exciting new features for the Curve Optimizer tool. One of the standout features is the Heavy Load Dynamic CO Stabilizer. This feature automatically adjusts curve optimizer settings based on the workload and allows switching to precision boost overdrive mode during high loads. Another cool feature is the all-core safe CEOs value to switch to. This lets users set a backup curve optimizer value for maximum load periods, ensuring stable system performance. Plus, Asus has increased the number of fan curve adjustment points from 4 to 8, giving you more flexible cooling options. These improvements make the Asus ROG motherboards with the X870E chipset a fantastic choice for enthusiasts using Ryzen 9000 processors. Next, let's move on to NVIDIA. According to Red Gaming Tech, NVIDIA is gearing up to launch a new GPU called the Titan AI. This beast will be an enhanced version of the RTX 5090, and it's reported to be 63% more powerful than the GeForce RTX 4090 and 10% faster than the upcoming RTX 5090. The Titan AI is expected to feature the full GB202 chip and a 512-bit memory interface with up to 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. Meanwhile, the RTX 5090 will have a slightly lower spec with a 448-bit interface and 28 gigabytes of memory. With AI in its name, this GPU isn't just for gamers, but also aims at AI computations. This could be a game changer for both gaming and AI research. Now let's talk about storage. Hadata has just introduced the high-speed M2 NVMe SSD called the Legend 970 Pro. This model features a PCI 5.0 interface and offers some impressive speeds. The read speed reaches up to 14,000 megabytes per second and the write speed hits 11,000 megabytes per second. For comparison, the standard Legend 970 offers read speeds of 9,500 megabytes per second and write speeds of 8,500 megabytes per second. The Legend 970 Pro also peaks at 1. 1.8 million IOPS, making it a top tier option for those needing extreme performance. Pricing and release dates are still unknown, but it comes with a 5 year warranty, so keep an eye out for this one. Switching gears to AMD, they've just revealed their roadmap featuring the new Zen 6 and Zen 6C architectures. Although we don't have an exact release date yet, sources like video cards and tech radar suggest these processors might drop next year. Zen 6C cores will be used in both upcoming consumer APUs and powerful new EPYC server processors. This could mean significant improvements in performance and efficiency for both personal and professional computing. Speaking of AMD, the flagship Ryzen 9950X processor, based on the Zen 5 architecture, has been tested with an overclock to 6 GHz, showing impressive performance gains. The 16-core, 32-thread processor boasts a base clock of 4.3 GHz and boosts up to 5.7 GHz with 80 MB of cache and a TDP of 170 watts. Testing on an Asus ROG Crosshair X670E motherboard with DDR5-6000 memory, the overclocked Ryzen 9 9950X scored 2795 points points in Geekbench 5 single-core tests and 350 in multi-core tests. This outperforms the stock Core i9-14900K by 12% and 16%, respectively. In Geekbench 6, it scored 3706 points in single-core and 26047 in multi-core tests, beating the Core i9-14900KS by 16% and 19%, respectively. Rumors are swirling about NVIDIA working on a new mobile GPU, the GeForce RTX 3050 ta According to leaked data, this card will feature a different PCI ID and updated architecture. Instead of using the Ampere-based GA107 GPU, the RTX 3050 a will utilize the Ada Lovelace-based AD106 GPU. Interestingly, the AD106 GPU is quite powerful, boasting 4300 MIP2 cores and a 128-bit memory bus, similar to what's found in the RTX 4060 Ti. This could indicate a significant performance boost for a budget-friendly mobile GPU. 
Over the past few months, Zhiqi Industries has been making waves at major trade shows like Computex and Bilibili World, showcasing their latest creation, the Zhiqi FF04. The FF04 is a 9.8 liter case designed to fit powerful components despite its small size. It's tailored specifically for Asus ProArt graphics cards, including the ProArt 4080 Super. Despite its compact dimensions, the FF04 is built to handle high-performance hardware. It weighs 7.5 kilograms and features independent airflow channels for the CPU and GPU. The chassis also includes a clip connector assembly to simplify cable management. It supports Asus ProArt GPUs and is compatible with the Asus ROG Strix B650 EI Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard and Asus ROG Loki power supplies. The recommended CPU cooler is the ID Cooling IS67 XT. For users with more demanding CPUs, there's an optional external water cooling module available at an extra cost. With its launch in China, there's a possibility it might reach Western markets. Finally, let's talk about Intel. According to Tom's Hardware and Igor's Lab, Intel is still investigating stability issues with their Raptor Lake and Raptor Lake refresh processors. Despite a recent microcode update, some Intel engineers believe there may be other causes for the instability beyond the initially suspected voltage issues. Intel's internal investigations have found that some returned processors exhibit elevated minimum operating voltage on certain cores. A new microcode update will limit the CPU VD to 1.55 volts, but it remains to be seen if this will fully resolve the instability problems. AMD has just announced a significant delay in the launch of their much-anticipated Zen 5 Ryzen 9000 series due to an unspecified quality issue. This means AMD is pulling back all Ryzen 9000 units that were delivered to retailers and OEMs around the world. So what exactly happened? AMD found a quality issue during the final checks of the Ryzen 9000 processors that slipped through their internal inspections. Although they haven't specified the exact problem, they did confirm it was related to the packaging testing process. To ensure no faulty chips reach customers, AMD is recalling all shipped Ryzen 9000 units globally to replace them with new ones. They emphasize that this issue doesn't require a redesign of the Ryzen 9000 silicon and won't change the already defined specs of the models. Essentially, they'll be re-screening the chips to identify and isolate the problematic ones. AMD is taking this precautionary step to prevent any potential defects from reaching customers, but it's a massive logistical task considering their extensive global supply chain. We do know that a few processors have already been sold and might still be out there, but AMD is working hard to recall those too. Interestingly, AMD's mobile Ryzen AI 300 processors are still on track to launch at the end of the month, so no delays there. Now what does this mean for pre-orders and reviews? It's not entirely clear yet. Pre-orders might be delayed or cancelled depending on the retailer, and reviews are definitely on hold to ensure no defective units are shipped out. Every chip maker has a robust screening process and AMD is no different. This process includes multiple checks from the die stage to the final package process processor to ensure quality. Despite this, issues can still arise, and it looks like AMD's simple yet effective packaging technique hit a snag this time. This move by AMD comes as Intel is also dealing with its own set of issues, having recently announced a fix for their crashing problems. AMD's swift action here shows they are determined not to make the same mistakes. Here's the official statement from Jack Huyn, AMD's SVP and GM of Computing and Graphics. We appreciate the excitement around Ryzen 9000 series processors. During final checks, we found the initial production units that were shipped to our channel partners did not meet our full quality expectations. Out of an abundance of caution and to maintain the highest quality experiences for every Ryzen user, we are working with our channel partners to replace the initial production units with fresh units. As a result, there will be a short delay in retail availability. The Ryzen 7 9700X and Ryzen 5 9600X processors will now go on sale on August 8th and the Ryzen 9 9950X and Ryzen 9 9900X X processors will go on sale on August 15th. We pride ourselves in providing a high quality experience for every Ryzen user and we look forward to our fans having a great experience with the new Ryzen 9000 series. Before we wrap up, here's a quick note on AMD's latest release, the Frame Latency Meter. Available via GPU Open, this software utility measures mouse-to-pixel latency without needing specialized sensors or high-speed cameras. It supports GPUs from AMD, Nvidia, and Intel, making it a versatile tool for gamers and reviewers alike. FLM allows customizable latency measurements and can account for frame generation technology, providing a comprehensive solution for latency analysis. That's all for today's update. What do you think about AMD's delay? Will it affect your plans to upgrade? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tech news and updates. Thanks for watching. See you next time.